Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, so you're probably thinking, whoa, Jevin, you've got diamond armor and diamond tools again. That's right. Um, so, uh, what was it, two days ago? Two days ago, I decided that I was going to live stream and just get everything back. And it took about four and a half hours to get everything that we needed. But, um... I think our armor and our tools are actually better now than they were before. So let's go ahead and get... I'll show you what I've got now. So we'll start with the helmet. Uh, we've got Respiration 3, uh, Unbreaking 3, Aqua Affinity 1, Protection 4. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. Protection 4, Depth Strider, Feather Falling, and Unbreaking. All the best enchantments. I don't like thorns because it takes down your durability of your armor faster. So I, I don't do thorns. So let's go ahead and take a look at our tools now. Um, sharpness 5, Unbreaking 3, Fire Aspect 1, Looting 3. Then we have the same setup for the picks. All Efficiency 5, Unbreaking, Silk Touch, Fortune, and then a Mining Pick. Uh, efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. And then we did a bow as well, which is Unbreaking 3, Power 5, Punch 2, Infinity and flame. Yes, lots and lots of enchantments done. It was awesome So with that, I mean we probably did Like probably two or three stacks or not stacks, but probably two or three chests full of enchantments So let's look because I actually built up my collection of enchantments quite a lot uh, In that time a lot of like like fours like feather falling pro projectile protection like all of these like they're all uh, bigger stacks now, so like power, efficiency, fortune, lots of good stuff. Um, and then we have like power, like tons of power fives and like just great enchantments in general. A lot of sword enchantments, lots of good stuff. So I, I fully recovered from the death. Um, I was supposed to, rec oh, hello. I was supposed to record with Azuma today, but me and him are like on really bad time zones. Um, for example, he is on, like, BMT, I think, so, I don't know, actually, he just messaged me on Skype, so I think we might record, hold on, let me check. Alright, so we are going to record today, but I'm gonna do some other stuff first. So, uh, what are we doing today? I made a new branch off up here at the top part, because we really don't come up here a lot, and I thought it would be nice to come up here. I think I want to do a sheep farm today because I do want to start getting more colors of wool in. And we're going to go forward with this because it seems like that would be the easiest spot to do it. So uh, I think the game plan is going to be something similar to what we have uh, on iJib and Plays Minecraft. Um, but for, like, for the actual room size, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to keep the main hallway just like it is. And then where this guy sits, it's going to go uh, six. So each each sheep is going to have quite a big pin. We'll probably end up having four or five sheep in each pin, I, was, I would hope. Because with all that size, you know. So one, two, three, one more. So this is where I wish I had beacons. There we go. Just like so. And so each sheep will have a size of four as their, um, as their entrance, just like so. Because uh, we're going to keep the theme going, so just like that. So there will be eight of these on each side. Uh, I was considering doing two levels, but I think it'll be fine. So I've got to get um, this dug out. It's going to take me quite a while to get this dug out, so I'll be back when that's finished. All right, guys, I am back. I have finally got this room dug out. That took quite a while. Ooh, there's a pigman right there. Can we get him? Money! Oh, I was close. <laughs> Is there anything else I can kill? No. Okay. Anyways, dug out. Um, room is dug out. Honestly, digging the room out these days is the easiest part. Um, so you notice that there's only eight spots, actually. So I got down towards the end here, uh, towards number four. And this is actually outside uh, right here. So that's a Biffa's place. So we're getting pretty far out of the mountain. So I decided to just stop right there. And we are going to put two colors in each. Uh, at first, I was deciding whether or not I wanted to automate this. But with how, I want to have a lot of sheep. So if we ever need any colors of wool, we can just kind of go in there and grab some. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a fence here and then the floor right here for, like, the boundary. I will put the colors of wool that we have. And then just go in there and shear them when I need to get what I need. 
Um, so we've got a pretty good area here, but of course we need to actually finish it uh, decoration-wise, get everything sorted, get the sheep in here. Getting the sheep in here is probably going to be the hardest part, but we actually have a lot of sheep downstairs, so let's go there first. I'm trying to decide on how I'm going to get those sheep out of there, because breeding them will be easy. Uh, I at least want to have four sheep in each pen, um, two of each color. Uh, let's see, how many, I know I have sheep, just not sure how many I have. We have plenty, okay. The only problem is, is I'm not sure if I can get them to climb a ladder or, like, do they climb ladders? I don't think that's possible, so we're gonna have to check it real fast. Let me grab a lead. We're gonna lead them to the, to the goods. Hey, what do we got here? I love how... I have like all this light mobs still spawn. Pretty sure it's down here. No, apparently not. I think it's down the next one then. I'm still learning where everything is in the, the rooms here. I thought it was down here. I think it's at the very end of this one. Can't wait to get, yeah, here we go. I can't wait to get, uh, to get these speed beacons in here, man. It's gonna be wonderful. Alright, so let's go up there and we will see about getting uh, some sheep up the vines. If we can get sheep up the vines, it'll make our lives a little bit easier. It'll be harder to get them up there, but I think in the end it'll be worth it. Because I think we have enough now to put like a couple in each pin. As long as we have uh, uh, 16, no, 2, 3, 4, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it'll be pretty close. It'll be it'll be easy to move. Let me grab you. Pull him out of there. There we go. All right, sheep. Come on, buddy. We're going to see if we can get you up some vines. Come on, my man. Yeah, there's got to be a way to get him up there. I might have to make, like, a pathway or something. Anything? So he's getting stuck on the block then. I wonder I wonder if that's just because of the way he was facing. Like if he was sideways, would it matter? There we go. So I can actually get them up here like this then. Maybe? Ha! That actually worked! Holy crap! That's amazing! Alright. Put him right there for now. So I've got to bring all those sheep up here. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, probably should get some fencing or something. Uh, I think the first thing we should probably do, though, is get grass in each one of these guys. So I'm going to grab some fences and some grass and bring the sheep up, and then I'll come back. Somewhere else or change for some reason? I can't figure out what that would yeah, be. Yeah, that's weird. Um, do you have a place in mind for fighting this? Um, We could go to where I fought the other one. If you want to go oh, down okay. there. Whereabouts is that? Uh, I fought it below my base. All right, sweet. Have Just you got little... night vision? Yeah, I've got night vision and everything. Yeah, I've got, I've got everything on me. I'm just, I put a couple of things in the ender chest. I doubt we'll die with two of us. It's oh yeah, yeah. This will be fast if we're only fighting one. Yeah, it'll be easy. We could probably fight all four in a row, but yeah, I'll just give yeah. you the beacons because time and stuff. Got to go do some other recording. We gotta oh, finish bit. this video. This is going up today, and then we gotta do oh, another video. Goes up tomorrow. This. I don't mind though. You can put it yeah. up whenever you want. I've been I've been helplessly addicted to vanilla. It's yeah. I, I'm sort of going through a little phase of like constantly wanting to play all the yeah. time. I don't know what it is. You just it just kind of comes and goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's I've been I've been playing modded way. for so long, and then like I've just got into this base so much that it's like. Just oh, makes me want to play. <laughs> you know exactly where you're going. Oh yeah, I know exactly where I'm going. Oh yeah, vanilla's such a simpler game compared to modded. You know, like yeah, exactly. It's a smaller, smaller set of ideas to work with, but then that just makes it easier to um, kind of get your ideas into action. A little oh. slime farm. All right, sweet. I can see a slime jumping off of it. Oh, you probably want to. Oh, night vision. I got one minute of that. Yeah, if you, unless you throw it 
did you throw it at the wall? I tried to throw it up and hit myself in the face with it, but I missed. I'm going to do another one in a second. Yeah, the, if it hits your player, it gives you the maximum effect. If it yeah, hits. yeah. I did a video on that before. Oh, where, right, sweet. Where you, if you throw it up and if it hits you directly, you get most of it. And then it's like two minutes less if it hits the wall and like all kinds of crazy stuff. Right, there's, there's a little bit of room so we can see. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this in a second. All these potions. Yeah, same here. I'm just I'm want to know when you're ready, and I'm gonna start taking mine. Right, Actually, one, gonna... two. Okay, uh, night vision. I'm gonna yeah, I'll take mine again. I'm gonna run out. Wait, the strength. And. And then I'll probably one. eat a golden apple too. Yeah, I'd wait until he's actually spawned for any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, I'm good. To, I'm. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm good. I'm is, good too. We kill this, and then, and then you you get the beacons. <laughs> Yay! All right, here we go. Remember to block. That's something I forgot to do last time. I fought these guys. Right, I'm gonna pop some regeneration. That's the one thing I don't have. I can't find gas in the Nether. Oh man, I find them all the time. Has to work on that. Hey, while he's low. Oh, I don't have my smite sword. Good thing we're not too much. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, I've got like half a heart. So difficult. Okay, he's coming down. He's gonna die so quick now. Oh yeah, he's dead. Of us. There we go. Woo! Yay! I finally got one. Now I'm gonna eat another apple. Oh, I've still got absorption. I want to check how many you've got. I've got nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. It's hard to see, man. It is. I've also got 20 seconds of regen, so I might need to pop a notch apple. Okay, make sure you got one. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. watch it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be all right. Oh yeah, I'm full health. Really didn't even do much damage to my uh, armor either. Thank you for the beacon, sir. No problem. Can finally have speed! Yay! <laughs> oh, you're gonna love it around the base. Yeah, my wither's okay, finally gone. Awesome! Thank you for uh, fighting that with me. No problem. Because <laughs> no apparently I can't do it on my own. Uh, oh, it's uh, everyone. Everyone has that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's so difficult to tell. I, I think a texture pack like that changes it is something I'm interested in. Like I want one where you can clearly see. Oh yeah, how many definitely. You actually have. That might be Is something. That, that might be a good idea. You know how Mumbo kind of has like his custom, like add-ons to his for vanilla. Might be something yeah. worth doing actually. Like I've got taking a as some. Well. Yeah. I've got clean glass, so you don't have the little dots, and I've got <clears throat> lowered fire as well. Yeah, I think I might and have to do something like that. All we need is something to make these particle effects a little less in your face. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I love the particles in the game. I just hate how it's just like it's so full. I mean. Just looking at yeah. you, it's just like radiating off of you, you know. So that's it. It looks it looks good on you because it's over there, but when it's right in front of your face, <laughs> yeah. then it just distorts your view. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, it's sir. Well, thanks for the the battle and the little collab. I think this is uh, besides UHC. I think this is the first video we have done together. It is actually that needs so. to change. We should, uh, exactly. Uh, find some reasons to do some things together yeah. again. We should just <laughs> sure. team up and kill everybody. We could, we could kill Biffa. <laughs> oh, that's now, yeah, I'm definitely in with that. I spoke to him earlier. He's lost, power quoting, whatever it's called. <laughs> he's lost my uh, my skull, so he's coming after me as well. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to get him. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> awesome, man. All right, man, good fun. Yep. All right, guys, so now I have four beacons. I hope you guys enjoyed that little collab with X. We definitely need to start collabing more because we haven't. We haven't done a lot together, but we uh, we have a good time when we play, so we definitely got to do more. I'm also going to do haste, and what should we? What else should we do, guys? Maybe uh, let's do jump boost, and let's do uh, resist or no resistance with regen. There we go. Yay! All right, so I have um. I have brought some stuff with me here. Ooh, I'm going to have to put some of this stuff away real fast because I have a lot in my inventory. Let me go over this way. Oh, that is glorious. Look at that. <sighs> That's so good. 
All right, uh, let's see. You, 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 you. That should be enough, okay. That is glorious. It doesn't extend all the way, but that is perfect. It goes to like basically where I need it to go. So um, let's see here. We got to go down here and grab some cocoa beans. One of those. And I smelted some glass down and we're going to make some brown stained glass to go with that. And I'll need to go up because uh, you guys know where the portal is for uh, the construction end of Hermit Town. Or not Hermit Town, but you know what I mean. Um, the construction end of Hermit uh, Hermit Hills. Um, that's exactly where this like comes out. So it's like actually like pretty like pretty solidly close. I'm gonna show you that real fast. Let me just get this. There we go. We got some sweet brown beacons. I've never seen the brown beacons before, but I think those look amazing. All right, so if we go this way. Um, and we go over to where that portal is. Um, man, if we run fast enough, we can almost get completely out of the base, it looks like. How fast is it going to be before? I think what I would say we almost might keep the beacon effects. But um, the four beacons are literally right over here. If you go... See, we already have the beacon effects again. They're right up here. See them? Hopefully I didn't mess up excess stuff. Oh no, I didn't touch it. Doesn't look like. Or whoever's base that is. But yeah, it actually frames this portal, which is hilarious. Uh, so I need to get this all safe for people. I don't want people to walk up here and be like, yay, fall into the hole, you know? So I'm going to get some glass smelted, cover that up, and um, I will continue on with our sheep farm. Which is going quite well, so I'll be back soon. Alright guys, so let's work on the sheep farm a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough sheep to go around. We're probably going to have to breed some, but that's okay. I brought some extra blocks here. I just want to block these guys in because I don't have enough wood to uh, fill this entire thing up yet. But I let the grass grow so they will be able to eat and regrow their wool. Uh, everything is going good. Yeah, I don't have enough material to actually do any designing of this just yet, so... All right, let's start moving the sheep in here. Let me grab you. I'll probably just grab them by the... Uh, look at this guy. Was there only one there? You, come on. I'm going to grab at least two at a time here. You, come on. So we'll take these two and put them in the first one, and we'll keep doing that. Uh, like I said, I'm probably just going to try to get two into each pin. And then I will breed them to make four. Come on. There we go. And then let's grab some more. Can I grab him? There we go. I thought that one was attached. <laughs> so I wasn't saying anything. I was looking. I'm like, is he attached? He's not attached, though. All of those guys in here. So far, so good. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough, but whatever works. I mean, how many do we have left? Because we need four, uh, two, four, six, eight. So, ooh, I don't think we're going to have enough. But it'll work. Come on, sheepies. Ooh, I didn't mean to hit you, buddy. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Let me get this guy. Come on. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just try to get them into... Uh, we'll get two into each pen, and then whatever's left over, we'll start the other side. Come on. There we go. I love leads, man. Leads are, like, my favorite. There we go. How many do we have left? We need two for the last pen. Two. Okay, so yeah, we're, we are definitely going to be short a little bit then. You, you, come on. But I guess it's a start. You gotta start somewhere before you can have a finished farm. I probably should have did the design first because it would have been easier. Um, but I, like I said, I don't have any any spruce or like stone brick or anything at this point. Grab all you. 
Okay. What do we have left? We have three left. Okay, I'll probably just put uh, all three of these guys into one pin. Okay. I'm looking forward to working up here more, too. We've got some good branch chomps we can use, so... Come on, sheepies. Come on, man. They're terrible at following. Come on, get in here. Jesus. Okay. Grab all three of those. Block these guys off. Okay, so now we need to breed. I brought 24. You. You. And we'll have to... This, this, this farm will have to be a work in progress for a while until we get uh, everything set up the way we need it. There we go. As long as my sheepies don't disappear. There we go. There we go. And these guys. So we have successfully moved pretty much all of our sheep into here. There we go. Awesome. All right. So I was thinking about having a collection thing for this. But like I said, I think I want to share these by hand. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do just yet for it. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode on the Hermitcraft server. I hope you enjoyed the little collab with X and the farm we started and the beacons and all that fun stuff. I'll be back... Uh, in a day and a half, I guess you could say. I, if you guys haven't noticed yet, my posting schedule is pretty much Hermitcraft, Hermitcraft, Hermitcraft. I do vanilla FTB, vanilla FTB, and I rotate them, and then I throw some extra videos in, like, diversity or tutorials uh, to mix it up every now and then as well. So, uh, going well. Hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. This is Ijevin. Peace out.